what's up guys this is misbah here again welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for subscribing it really means a lot to me so i really wanted to say thank you thank you thank you so much for subscribing commuting every day to work the daily commute negativity mental stress physical stress loss of productivity depression exhaustion all of these negative words like that's what rings in your head when you hear the daily commute. I switched from walking to my office for 15 minutes to traveling using a public transit for like one hour and 10 minutes every day. And this is an average. And this is one way I'm talking about. So in a total of three hours, roughly, I have to commute every day. So over the past year, I came up with some activities that I would have done anyway as part of my leisure time or just the me time. So I think that these activities can be done either if you are in a car, if you're driving, or even if you take public transit, you can still do most of these. So I'm going to share with you seven tips or seven activities that you can do to use your commute time and not make it feel like a total waste of time. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Number one, music. This is pretty straightforward, like something you can use to listen, to pick yourself up or relax or even just those off, I guess. But what I do is I just go to Spotify and select one random playlist, like either a good morning playlist or a mood booster playlist, or they have a list of a bunch of playlists. If you use Spotify, you know what I'm talking about. You don't have to use Spotify. You can either use SoundCloud or Apple Music, all of those like music apps, so whichever one. If you're driving, this works as well. If you're using public transit, just plug in your headphones and listen to your favorite playlist and you are all good. Number two, listen to learn. I'm talking about podcasts, audiobooks, TED Talks, something that you can listen to to feel motivated or learn something. Use it in your daily lives, not just your work life. There is one podcast that I really love. It's called 99% Invisible. You really have to check that out. They talk about different design or architecture behind things that you use in your daily life, like how does a revolving door work? What's the architecture behind the clicks of a keyboard? Super interesting to listen to. TED Talks. So TED Talks are scripted speeches that people do in, in front of live audience and it is recorded. So you know what TED Talk is. There are a bunch of ideas in the TED Talks. There is self-help, there is social life, environment, science. Whichever one you like, you can just pick one. And depending on how long you have or how much time you have, you can also customize the setting and select any video that you want. Audiobooks are also a great way to learn and listen to your favorite books. If you are reading something that is paperback and you really don't have the energy to open your eyes and read it, you can go for audiobooks. You just plug in your earphones and listen to it. I'm listening to Letting Go by David Hopkins. I'm using Audible. You can either use Hoopla or Audible. If you're in the States, I don't know about other countries, Hoopla is free if you have library membership. And then there is Audible, which is paid, but I think if you are a student, you can use student discount. I know I did, so. Number three, commuter yoga. Is that really a thing? Yes, it is. <laughs> But I have to say, this works well for those who drive. Meaning, if you are driving and you know you're going to be stuck in the traffic for a while, like if you anticipate that you're going to be there for a while, what you can do is just do some light stretches. Stretch your arms a little bit and stretch your feet if you if your car has some room. But make sure that you are going to be like if you're, you're on a parking mode or you're not like still on a driving mode or neutral mode. But like it's and pretty then, common if you're stuck in a traffic then you tend to be stressed. So when a human body is stressed your shoulders are like pointing towards your ears. You like you lift your shoulders which is a sign of stress when you like relax, you breathe in, breathe out, release your shoulders. This really reduces your mental stress as well. Just releasing your body stress helps reduce mental stress. Some of the mindfulness apps that are out there for people who drive are Headspace and Calm. Just, just be aware that you can do this only when you are like stuck in a traffic, like not while you're driving. Don't do this while you're driving. Number four, 
create a journal. This is very interesting for me because I started writing journal when I started like commuting to work. And my journal is mostly blessings and things I'm grateful for kind of a journal. It's not like a feelings journal, but you can do that too. So if you are using a public transit, like you can carry a small notebook and a pen and you can just jot down your thoughts, give clarity to your feelings. Or again, you can do the same that I do, list your blessings and things you're grateful for and everything. If you are driving, then you can do audio journal, record your feelings, say it out loud. It's basically an audio journal. It really helps give clarity to your feelings releases that tension helps you express your feelings out loud it obviously reduces stress and, and counting your blessings law of attraction people number five plan your day and by plan your day i mean planning your work day like you can plan your regular day as well but i think if you're commuting to work you would obviously tend towards planning your work i would suggest this to the people who use public transit rather than those who are driving because i don't think it's safe to do anything that is not hands-free while you're driving. You can check your emails, you can review reports or documents that your colleagues are asking you to review. You can also do brainstorming over some project ideas or planning for your upcoming meeting, make your to-do list or catch up on some emails all of that. This gives you clarity before you get into work like you are way ahead of yourself when you do this in your commute. Number six brain training i don't know if this should have been in the category of listen and learn but this is not actually listening so I, so I put this like separate there are a lot of brain training apps that help boost your memory skills math skills improve your productivity increase your processing speed if you want to recharge or retrain your brain then you can use these apps like there's elevate then there's lumosity i think you can download these for free like they're really really cool apps it's a lot of sun these apps really boost your confidence and productivity and it's a cool thing to do on your commute again i don't recommend this for those who are driving number seven turn off your brain it's funny i was just talking about training your brain and now i'm saying turn off your brain okay but this is equally important you guys to keep you sane you need to turn off and zone out at times to slow yourself down so that you are fresher when you get to work and this is also for those who use public transit this is for those times when you don't want to do anything you just want to relax and zone out like i said give your brain or give yourself a break what i do is i just like take a nap but of course i set like a timer or an alarm to make sure that i am up before my staff arrives there was this one time i dozed off and i did not set any alarm or anything and then the ticket collector had to come and wake me up he was like go to work young lady and from that day onwards i started putting a timer you don't have to take a nap if your definition of zoning out is to just watch a tv drama or a tv series or just like whatever makes your brain stop working for a bit follow that so these are the two things that i do all right guys so those were my seven ideas or seven tips or seven activities what we're gonna call it um, you know it's funny that initially it felt super exhausting and super weird it, it felt like a little much uh, to commute that long but after i started doing these activities it made me realize like this is a me time this is like a blessing i'm getting that gift of time that i normally don't get like if i'm indulged in day-to-day -day activities I spend it lazing around watching tv or doing nothing so this is something that i can use to help myself i guess all of these activities are all self-help activities right uh, so i hope you enjoyed this video and i really hope that you find this helpful and you incorporate some of these activities to make your commute interesting thank you so much for watching the video you guys i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and i will see you soon bye